Hey everybody and welcome to Raw Reviews where we take an unedited look at some of our favorite camera accessories. And I'm, cameras. And cameras in today's instance. <laughs> I'm Nick along with Nikolai from Kometa Camera. That's at Kometa.com. And what are we looking at today? Today we are looking at the Canon Ivy Click oh, and the Click Plus. Now these are basically um, an evolution of the Canon IV instant printer, yes. which we actually did a review on last year, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be a very popular product, um, competing kind of with Fujifilm Instax printers yep. and cameras, but where Canon didn't have a camera attached to the product before, mm -hmm. now they do. So basically you've got your Canon IV printer, and it has a built-in camera. So that is a pretty cool development. Yeah. So. Uh... Differences between the Click and the Click Plus. What do we got going on? Well, with the Click, you get a uh, five megapixel camera, which is more than enough for the size of the prints you'll be making. Yeah, that... they're two by three prints, yeah. so they're pretty darn small. Small. And then with the uh, Click Plus, you get eight megapixels. Um, with the regular Click, you don't have any wireless capability, anything like that. With the Click Plus, you can sync it with your smartphone so that you can control it via Bluetooth. And you can also take pictures that are on this and you can um, print them from a mobile app. Gotcha. Which is actually a pretty convenient thing because you can also take pictures from your other cameras, uh, from your phone, for example, or from your professional cameras, and you can, or just straight off the internet, so or whatever, from your Facebook, from your Instagram, whatever. So this is basically just like the Ivy printer with a camera built into it. Yes, that's all and it that's is. And that's just like an Instax camera. Yeah, well, this is a pretty lower much. resolution version of this one. And also, this one has a bigger selfie mirror. Yeah, okay, yeah so, as you can uh, see, the entire thing is a mirror versus that little teeny tiny thing over there. Yeah, so this one's a little bit more useful when you're taking selfies. You can see the entire frame. It actually has these little frame lines here um, so that you can get a better view of uh, what it is you're taking a picture of, probably yourself mm -hmm. or a group of friends. Uh, these actually do have a pretty wide angle lens on them, so that's basically what they're made for. Mm -hmm. They're made for selfies. They're made for snapshots for those moments where you just want to have a picture, print it out, give it to your friends. And one of the coolest things about all the prints that it makes is that they're stickers. So you could take oh, this, I didn't even know that. this picture that I took of um, the back of our office building, and uh, you could just stick it wherever you like. Not much excitement happens here. Outside. No, unfortunately not. I did take another one of <laughs> uh, myself with our lovely receptionist and uh, that will probably get stuck somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's get into a few more of these features. I we'll actually can show you how these things work. Actually, before we get that, just to get out of the way, what's the price difference on them? About $60. Okay. So for the regular one, this one is $99 at mm -hmm. launch, and the Click Plus is $159. So, you know, for the amount of different features that you get with the Click Plus, personally, I'd go with the Click Plus. Yeah, but I say it sounds like I would probably go with this instead of that. I think the regular Click, um, not only because of the less lesser features, but also because of the bright coloring. It comes in blue. It comes in this yellow. Oh yeah, there's a lot of colors. And it comes, it in. comes in this uh, sort of magenta. This they call this ladybug red. And, okay. Um, right. So those colors are more geared towards kids, I think. So then what we got here. What color is now, this? Now the Click Plus gives you more. Um, oh, these are different colors for the. Click those are Plus. classier colors. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is sapphire blue. Yep. This is... White. <laughs> pearl, pearl white. And then we have purple. This is actually, the one that boggles my mind. It's not called... Per this is not called purple. This is called ruby red. So if you've ever seen any rubies that are come in this color, please send us a picture. <laughs> Write to us. Let us know. Because if you've seen The Wizard of Oz, this is not the color of a ruby. But that notwithstanding, it's still a pretty cool camera. Yes. <laughs> All right, so let's... Get into how it actually works. Now, okay. it's basically, it's competing with Fujifilm's Instax cameras, wherein you take a picture, it gives you a print right away, and you don't have, with these, actually uses a different kind of paper. It doesn't go on that um, instant film like old Polaroids. This okay. one actually just prints onto what's called zero ink paper, and it produces the color right away. You don't have to wait for it to develop or anything. So oh, if wow. you want, just turn it on. I think you just hold okay. down the power button for a second. And it takes a second okay, for it to yep, power up. Okay, yeah, it lights up. up blue on the top there. I guess to let you know that it's on. Yep. Now, now you can see on the back that there's a little optical viewfinder. Yes, and it's also oh now it's a nice blue. Turn that around. Turning for it, me. turning it. <laughs> right. So you've got an optical viewfinder. It has an actually very accurate frame reference inside, so that way when you're actually taking a picture, you actually get a picture of what you framed up. 
Gotcha. It, you don't have to okay. like compensate a little bit because the viewfinder is off to the side or whatever. Smart move. Um, then it has a button to change the aspect ratio because you can do just square pictures if you want. Okay. Because in the, the Instagram world we live in. Do they make just square film? Or no? No, it would print it out uh, a square onto the yeah, rectangular yeah. paper. And you have to like trim the sides. Or yeah, something you would like have that. to trim okay, it. Okay, okay. Or you can switch to two by three, which is the sort of default. And then you've got another button over here, which is a reprint button. So if you really like the last shot you just took, you just press that, and it reprints another one. So if you've got okay. a bunch of friends, you take a great picture of your group of friends, and everyone wants one, you can easily do that. Gotcha. Now, does it need a memory card to do that? It doesn't need one. Um, if you don't put a memory card in, it'll just use the last picture that you took. Okay. Um, if you put in a memory card, you can store all of those images for future use. Maybe you want to share them online, or maybe you want to print them in a bigger format. You can do that with an 8 megapixel camera. So, okay. I mean, they may not be the greatest pictures in the world, but, you know, for casual use, it's really not that bad. There you go. So why don't you take one casual picture of your old friend Nick over here? Oh, okay, I was actually going to take a picture of our new friend Sean back here. Oh, but... do that. So... I don't know, you can't really zoom in, so... I know, but still, it's like you can see the setup and everything. That's quite the pose there, Sean. All right. We'll show everybody in a second. So, so it takes a couple seconds to so process. So it's blinking. So I'm to let you know that it's processing. Oh, it changes colors. Isn't that fancy? Look at that. <laughs> I can just about see because I want the camera to see it, but... There we go. There it goes. Now you hear it coming So after out. about 10 seconds, it starts whirring and uh, the still, gears start turning. And still blinking. The paper that's inside actually has these little microscopic uh, dots of ink on it, and it uses heat to activate those dots, and then it prints it out. And it's like smudge proof, oh, well, water resistant. There you go. So it's smudge proof, water resistant, and it makes a nice little sticker, like we said before. So these things can be put anywhere, and you don't have to worry about them uh, getting all messed up. Yeah, it's cool to see it actually like comes out like completely done instead of having to sit there and do the the fanning that yeah, does yeah. absolutely nothing. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oops. Whoops. I didn't catch it. And there's Sean. All right, so it's not exactly a great scene what we've got going on here in our office. It's a studio. <laughs> but um, I took some other shots here. This is uh, just a selfie I took of myself, which... <laughs> Selfie, self-explanatory word there. Mm -hmm. um, then I've got another one which I applied some stickers to in the app. So they've got a million different things you can do. There's, you know, sunglasses and logos. I don't know why I put a cassette tape floating in the uh, in the air over there. Just to show off, you know. But yes, I was so bored. And uh, then you can draw things on it. <laughs> There's a million little things you can do. I'm almost 40 years old, so I don't do any of that crap. But you know, yeah. I guess it's cool. The I don't youths. Know. The Utes these days. The Utes these days. Um, and like I said before, you can also, with the Click Plus, you can transfer stuff over from uh, your phone, and uh, you can print pretty much any picture you want. So I took some pictures with my, you know, normal cameras, and those come out nice and colorful. Now, with this type of paper, you don't really get highly saturated colors. Yeah. Um, so I would recommend that if you're going to print out things like this, boost the saturation a little bit before you do a print. Okay. Um, and then it comes out a little bit nicer. And you can do that in the app. The app actually gives you a bunch of different editing tools so that you can increase saturation, you can apply different filters, kind of like Instagram. Mm. Um, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And surprisingly, stuff works out pretty nicely. Nice. You know, as long as you know what, what to do. So I would, ahead of time, before you start um, printing, boost up the saturation a little bit, maybe boost up the contrast a little bit. Gotcha. The one thing I found that it doesn't really work with too well is sort of grayish tones. So like in this picture, here in the corners, that wall is kind of a, a grayish beige color. Mm, a little bit of banding here, it doesn't look so great. But the actual colors, the actual bright colors in this image uh, came out really nice. And I can say the same thing for this shot I took of a dock in Miami. You know, the colors came out really nice. The blues, the mm. greens, this sort of highly saturated brown dock here. Everything came out really nice. Um, it's not like a print you would get out of a inkjet printer on yeah. professional type photo paper, but it still looks pretty nice. And for a mm. sticker, I can't really complain. Yeah. So um, do you want to actually demo how to load film? It's pretty easy. Um, the paper comes in boxes of 20 or 50 and then it comes in little packs of 10 inside the box. So you just take one of these little dealies, 
And you want to load that into my camera or are you going to load it into yours? I'll load it into mine since mine's empty at the moment. Okay. Uh, it comes with a little blue registration card and it's important that you hang on to that. You don't throw it away. You just open up the back, place it blue card down like so. And then just click it on. And now that's fairly easy. It's pretty easy. Like I said, this is sort of made for kids and for real casual use. Okay. So you don't have to really know anything about photography or cameras in order to do it. And then the first picture you take, it's going to automatically expel that registration card and then it will print on the next image. So I'll just take a little shot of you over here. That was an odd sound that it just made. <laughs> <laughs> That's letting you know that it was, you know, the blue thing that was in there right now. I guess, yeah, maybe that was the uh, default <laughs> autofocus sound for this camera. But. Could be. Um, one thing I read about these cameras is that you could change the shutter sounds, that you could actually custom do it. I, I can't figure out a way to do it, so maybe that was something maybe that they told the about. That's what I heard. Okay. But I haven't been able to figure out a way to do it, and I think it might be something that they didn't actually integrate into the final product. Gotcha. That was something I saw in the initial press releases. Well, if we couldn't figure it out, we'll put a little text bubble over this saying if we were right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that the registration card is out, this will uh, print out the image. It's just going to take another second to process. Yeah, I was looking at your colors, and yours just blinks white, My, while well, mine blinks like multiple colors. Well, aren't you special? Yeah. <laughs> that's what an extra 60 bucks get you. It gets you a rainbow. So anyway, um, again, <laughs> that's the price difference between the cameras now when you're buying the film. Oh, no, never mind. I guess when it, like, it starts printing, like the colors start changing. There you go. Um, another good thing about these is that they uh, have an internal lithium-ion battery. So okay. you can just charge them like any of, any of your other devices. You don't have to go out and buy those weird... Um, I don't even, one, two, three cells? What are they called? CR, the CR one, two, three or something yeah, like that? Yeah, those are the ones that you typically get for Fuji cam Fujifilm Instax cameras. And um, while they last a long time, they're made for those types of cameras. There you go. Okay, and this okay, one just okay, has okay. a regular internal battery, just like every other device you now, have. Now, will you catch the picture in time? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You get the idea. Um, I wanted to mention, as far as the film goes, if you get a pack of 20, they typically run about 13 bucks, and that's something like 65 cents per print. Okay. Um, if you get a pack of 50, you get a better value, that's about 50 cents a print. And they come in like little packs of 10, like yeah, you said, right? Yeah, so okay. you, you put in 10 at a time, and then when you're done, um, you just put in another pack. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. You don't have to worry. You can always open it up if you need to because it's not like the uh, Polaroids or Fujifilm Instax. They're not sensitive to light or anything. They're sensitive to the heat in the camera. Gotcha. So you can always check how many exposures you have left if necessary. So I guess that's about it. Yeah, I mean, there's really, really nothing it. else left to explain. Um, the cameras are real cute. They're nice and compact. They are a little bit thicker than a smartphone, but but they fit right in your pocket. Yeah, but they're definitely a lot smaller than like a Fuji film. Definitely. And for, you know, a hundred dollars, the click makes an excellent little stocking stuffer or gift. Mm -hmm. You know, a nice little birthday present for uh, for young ones. And the click plus is a little bit more advanced, but also a really cool thing. And one other thing I meant, forgot to mention about the click plus, not only is it eight megapixels, not only does it have the Bluetooth connectivity, it also has a little ring light. So oh. you'll notice here on the top, there's a flash switch and uh, you can set that to um, put in automatic flash or okay. a little bit of fill flash, okay. depending on your conditions. And it's a nice little ring light, so it gives you even coverage. So if you're taking a selfie, you'll be able to get nice, even light coverage of your face. And if you're taking pictures of someone else, you know, same deal. Nice. So that's it. That's, that's it. the Canon Ivy Click and the Ivy Click Plus. $99, $159. And uh, you can get that along with all the IV paper that you need right now at Cometa.com. Yeah.